Anya Hindmarch, a luxury handbag brand favored by Kate Middleton, has been put up for sale after losing pounds 28.2 million. The firm's Qatari owners have abandoned the London-based firm in the latest sign of struggles for the Duchess's high street favourites after L.K. Bennett went into administration last week. The brand, founded by fashion designer Hindmarch in 1987, made heavy losses in 2017 and reported a 10% decline in revenue, at pound 37.2 million. The Duchess of Cambridge showed her fondness for the brand in one of her earliest engagements after her 2011 wedding to Prince William. Meeting then-U.S. President Barack Obama and his wife Michelle at Buckingham Palace, the newly created Duchess carried a black clutch bag from the label. The same year she took a gold Anya Hindmarch clutch bag with her her new husband play in a charity polo game in California, while wearing L.K. Bennett heels. During a tour to Canada this summer she also showed off a red straw fan version, matching it with a red maple leaf hat to mark Canada Day. The following year she carried a £495 clutch designed by the luxury brand to an event in honour of the Scott expedition to the South Pole. Within hours of the event in London the Anya Hindmarch bag, as well as her blue Rebecca Taylor suit, had sold out online. In 2015 Kate showed off a £450 satin black clutch by the label as she joined top female executives at a 100 Women in Hedge Funds event at London's V&A Museum. Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, has also been seen carrying the luxury brand's products. In 2016 she arrived in Cindy with a personalised bag on the hind march showing the faces of her daughters, Beatrice and Eugenie. The £225 tote bag featured a black-and-white photo of the two princesses in a moody pose. A similar creation, which the Duchess was seen carrying in 2015, featured a photo of Beatrice and Eugenie as children wearing matching dresses and bonnets. Princess Eugenie herself also took a silver on a hindmarch clutch with her when she attended Pippa Middleton's wedding in May 2017. Her sister Beatrice has also been spotted with the brand's designs, carrying one of them to the royal family's Easter Sunday service in 2016. In 2016, Anya Hindmarch expanded its accessories range into the menswear market. M's Hindmarch, 51, who received an MBE from the Queen in 2009 and a CBE from Prince Charles in 2017 is expected to stay on as the brand's chief creative officer after the sale. She also joined the Queen in the front row at London Fashion Week in February last year alongside industry heavyweights such as Anna Winter. A source close to the firm said the decision to sell was a mutual one between M's Hindmarch and the Qataris. The Qatari royal family's investment fund had bought a pound's 27 million controlling stake in the firm in 2012. The source said the company's cash position has now stabilized and it has materially reduced losses, putting it on better footing. It is understood to have reduced losses since then by slashing costs and putting more of an emphasis on online sales. Private equity firms and rival brands are understood to be interested in buying the company, which has more than 30 stores. L.K. Bennett was the latest in a line of big names to become casualties in the bloodbath on the high street. The UK's largest toy shop Toys R Us went into administration in February 2018, leading to an estimated 2,000 redundancies and Marks & Spencer announced plans last May to close 100 stores by 2022. Fashion brand Orla Keeley, another favourite of the Duchess of Cambridge, also went out of business with debts of more than £7.25 million, 8.1 million euros, last year.